Thank you very much uh, for asking me to, to talk with you. It's, it's sort of a tough topic, uh, the crisis in higher education to do in 10 minutes. And I know there are a number of colleagues in this room that are uh, experts in this field and, uh, and are doing uh, great things. So I, I apologize to, to those, uh, uh, to Brian especially. I know you're very much involved with this uh, for simplifying or oversimplifying some of these. So uh, I'm going to give you a perspective uh, that maybe is not so much in the newspapers. And, and obviously, uh, some of that is, is my own. And, uh, and, and some of it is actually shaped by some of the conversations we have had today. So there's a lot of surface stuff. But let me, let me try to give you a quick example. So has, uh, has anyone heard of the spaghetti experiment, the spaghetti with the marshmallow experiment? Yeah, sure, OK. Uh, so very briefly, this is an experiment where a, a bag of spaghetti with a marshmallow along with some tape are presented to groups of people. And they're asked to construct the largest uh, or the highest uh, um, uh, structure they can, they can dream of or they can think of. And, um, and this, is done, uh, has been, this has been done. You can go online and, and look up the results uh, of this experiment. It's been done all around the country, all around the world with groups of people of all kinds, you know, from, from groups that are mixed together to groups that are selected based on certain traits. So the interesting thing is um, the, uh, the group that does the best, so their structure is the highest, is kindergartners. <laughs> Sometimes bested by architects, but we would expect that. The group that does the worst consistently our MBAs. <laughs> so if we think there's a crisis in higher education, I just illustrated it for you. But it's, it's an example of what I think um, are, are, are many, many of the issues that are going on. So let's just talk about the surface stuff, because I know those are on many people's minds. So we read lots of papers. There's a, uh, if you're a parent, you're paying very high tuition, wondering what the hell am I paying for. If you're a student or a recent student or someone who's still paying off their debt, you're wondering, um, was this worth it? Uh, there are, of course, lots of inefficiencies. We look around these places and we say, my god, this place hasn't changed for 100 years. Actually, they change a lot more than that, but it's invisible to the eye, uh, to, the, to, the, uh, to the layperson. And um, then there are other, uh, I would say, uh, a higher level concerns uh, and higher level problems. Uh, things such as the, the war on liberal arts. Doesn't anybody care about that anymore? Uh, doesn't it mean something? Uh, and uh, the, the war on science. Uh, if you just open up National Geographic from this month, uh, or usually the month ahead, so from next month, uh, you'll see that it's the big caption, war on science. Why don't we believe this? Why don't we believe that? Why don't we believe all these various things that scientists have been telling us for some time? Um, we, we have a... Uh, a massive war on, on universities going on as, the, as, as entities. You know, we are questioning them. We are questioning the social bond that these institutions built with us uh, and, the, uh, and, and, the, and the products that we believe they ought to be giving us and the uh, improvements to our society that we expect that they ought to be providing us. And um, we have a lot of people pretty upset and angry all around the country. Sometimes they're governors. They're cutting funding from one university or another. Um, and oftentimes, they are, um, there are various uh, other politicians and, and, uh, and, uh, and influential people. So those are some secondary problems uh, and, and higher level issues. And, 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 I don't, and, and I don't doubt they're there. They're there. In my mind, they are not the, the most important set of problems. Those are, those are solvable. Right? Uh, in, in the sense that uh, um, we can find ways to be more efficient. We can find ways to, to manage the business model of the universities. But what we have to understand is the underlying pressures. Um, where is Jerry? Is Jerry here or is Jerry gone? So Jerry was noted to be the tallest man in the room, but I've always thought myself to be the tallest man in the room. So I, I wanted to question that right there and then. But, uh, but uh, Jerry. Uh, brought up this whole notion of result orientation. Uh, so I, I, have a, I have a different um, uh, angle on that, but the, the result is the same, if you will. And that is, is that we have been enamored by, by measures, right? We are living in a measurement-oriented society, metrics-oriented society. 
So why are all these things happening? So uh, there's an association called the American Association of Universities, AAU. It makes up 62 universities. These 62 universities make up more than 60% of all the federally funded research that is spent in this country. More than 50% of all of the doctorates that are awarded. More than 80% of the National Academy memberships. Most, all of our Supreme Court justices come from there. All of our presidents come from, there, from, 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 from uh, these places. Um, and many of our corporate CEOs. These 62 universities have an outsized impact on everybody else. They are creating this massive competition machine. And competition in higher education, unlike business, works exactly the opposite. In business, when two firms are competing, they're going for the cheaper, faster, better concept. In higher education, competition just means more costs. Right? Because you got that, I've got to have that. You got two labs, I've got to have two plus five plus another lab. So, and then, and so on and so forth. You got this faculty, I've got to have that faculty. So that's one of the underlying issues that's going on, this, this sense of competition. Now, could some people argue that this, um, this makes things better? Well, I was a dean, so I had to argue this, of course. And it does, in some ways. Now, can I tell you what any of our economists really did? I can't. It's about the one field I could never explain what these people were doing. I could explain the physicists and the biologists and the astrophysicists and, and even the humanities, even though I'm a science guy, but I could never explain what our economists did. Now, that's fine, but they held me up every year for more money, more this, more that, and then the other institution either matched it or what have you. So these are costs. These, are, these just happen. Did the quality go up? I, I'm not so sure. So I think that's one of the factors that's, that's underlying here. I should have given a spoiler alert at the beginning of my talk, which is I don't have any answers. So if you're taking notes, and then there's going to be something like aha moment at the end, I'm, I don't want to disappoint you. That Then I'll disappoint you now, so you can stop taking notes. But the, the point is, is that these types of competitions are driving. You just have to walk around Stanford, right? I mean, there are just amazing laboratories. Would one, would one say that the quality of science is that much higher today? Now, I, I don't know. I, and I don't think is as high as the buildings suggest that it is. In fact, it brings us to another issue. And that is what I call the linearity of what we're dealing with. We have produced linear children who grow up to become linear adults. And what do I mean by that? People who have figured out what a path is, and they follow that path. They do all the right stuff, right? They, or I should say, they do stuff the best that they can. They're told, this is what you have to do. This is how you do it. This is when you do it, and so on and so forth. This leads to wonderful, numerically successful children, but unfortunately, very uninquisitive college students. Right? The number of times somebody asks me why, I can count on one hand. The number of times somebody asked me what, that was everywhere. What is going to be on exam? What do, what do we need to know? Right? What do we need to know? This is like the most ridiculous question. But you get asked this all the time. So, but that comes from someplace, right? Because they're focused on the graduate school or the medical school or what, what have you. And the challenge continues into adulthood, into faculty uh, world. The faculty themselves who make fun of this are actually living the same thing. They got to do some, some things to get tenure. They got to do some things to get grants. They got to do some things to get into the right to journals, and so on and so forth. So part of this challenge is, is that, the, that inquiry, that notion of innovation, by just simply stepping out and talking to another person, starting to become a much more difficult proposition. So when we look out there and we say, why aren't our universities delivering? 
is that, so I can explain to you why our costs are high and all that, and we could do some things about that. But the part about why we're not delivering has to do with the fact that that's not where the incentives are, right? So now maybe one of the answers is to change some of that incentives. Maybe one of the answers is to start to, instead of focusing on departments and disciplines and this is what I do, a question I've asked some people here today, is instead of saying, what do you do, ask, what problem do you solve? Now that changes the whole dynamic. So what if we ask the university, what problems do you solve? Now they all could say a lot of stuff. You can say, all right, that's, that's great, but how are you solving those? Is everybody focused on that? Is everybody in, in all your departments realizing that we're dealing with complex issues that don't have any one answer? They don't have a, um, a, you know, a cookie cutter, this is what you do. You, you need a sociologist and you need a biologist and you need a chemist and you need an uh, economist to come together to come up with some potential interventions. Do you have all those people working together? Are they actually in the same building where they can bump into each other, right? You know, innovation is not rocket science. It's, it requires connection, requires collision, requires the, the, the dynamics of the situation. It requires a trial and error. So all those things happen when people have that, that coffee house effect that, that is often referred to. So we don't create our universities to match that, right? Just walk around Stanford again. You'll see departments. What if there was a conglomeration of stuff that said environmental impact? Another one that said po health of populations, and that it had. Yeah, the medical school, in fact, is pretty far away from some of the sciences and, and certainly from, from sociology and the others. So that's another dimension of this that I think um, we need to get at. So to me, I think at the end of the day, one of the challenges uh, that perhaps needs to be solved in order for us to improve the scenario that we're in is that is the courage of leadership, is the courage that's necessary to have more leadership and less management, right? Those MBA students, well, they are actually part of the problem and not part of the solution in the sense that management is a product of the brain. And, the, and, and it's fantastic and is important when you know what the problem is. But leadership is the product of the heart. Where's Claudia? Uh, uh, and uh, so is the, is the product of the heart. And that, unfortunately, is in such a low commodity these days in all of our institutions. You know, I put that down for my 10-year for my goal to do something about that. So the, to me, I think the deepest problem in higher education is the same problem we see all around. However, higher education is on a pedestal that everyone can see that, uh, that does this, that, uh, that prevents this leadership to come from. So with that, thank you very much.